Hey, hi, and howdy. I am Al. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on platforms such as eBay, Mercari, Depop, Poshmark, Kitizen, Vinted, and Facebook Marketplace. And I have a what sold for you today. So first, I'm going to start off with these. I got these for free. Um, I'm going to forget the name now. Oh, they're called Fire King. They're little peach and blueberry bowls. I'm not really sure what these are used for, but um, these sold for $16 on Poshmark. Next is a bundle. First, the, either all of this stuff was free or under um, or under a dollar, except one item was like $4.99. So this, I got it a garage sale. I think it was like $0.25, cents, brand new. Next. Clothes. And this is a bundle on Poshmark. Next, this was a family member's they just gave to me for free. Coca-Cola. I think it's Forever 21 Coca-Cola. This was in my first ever buyout. So this was 27 cents. It's Nike Golf. Cute little pink polo. This I got for free. It's an Adidas blue top. This, I actually picked this up. I don't remember how much this was, but when I picked it up, I thought it was Bath and Body Works, but it's Bath and Shower. I don't know if you can see that. And I listed it as Bath and Body Works, and someone screamed at me that I was scamming, and I was like, what? And I looked at it, and I was like, oh my goodness, no, I scammed myself. So there's that, and then this is what was, I think, $4.99. It's still sealed. It's a pure water filter picture with the um, the attachment to go on your faucet. And that bundle sold for $76. Next. Let me move this pile a little closer now. Okay. Let's start with... Oh, and this actually was in the bundle with 76 for the $76 was this blue Nike shirt. All right, now let's move on. This sold for $20. It's a new tag Lulu's red eyelet dre lace dress, about knee length. Lulu's does not sell well. Just does not do it. Like, I think there's some pieces that can sell well, but I've never come across them. So, let's see, this, this sold for $20. It's a Lauren Ralph Lauren, the green label, uh, Paisley PJ set, both the top and bottoms, size small. Then a Disney Mickey yellow sweatshirt. Uh, my sales weren't good at the time that this came in. So I only sold it for 15. I am making money, but I only sold it for 15. This was a size medium. This was part of my original buyout. So this was 27 cents. It's a Marona men's medium sweater. I do not recommend this brand at all. Um, and I think it only sold for like six bucks, but again, at 27 cents, I did make money didn't go in the landfill, so I guess that is a win. Um, these Nike joggers, they took a really long time to sell. They're like the crop joggers. I've sold the whole set before for like 50 bucks, and in like hours of listing it, these are a medium, um, and these only sold for like 18, I think. Uh, 15 to 20 bucks, I remember them selling for, and it took a really long time to sell. So when the offer came in, I was like, shoot, whatever. This was on sale in my Depop store. It took a really long time to sell. Um, this is Lauren Conrad, new with tags. I don't remember how I acquired this, um, but I ended up selling for $14 on Depop. So another brand I would not pick up is um, Lauren Conrad. Next is this Italy shirt, or Italia. Um, this was my Personale t-shirt. Um, but I have too, too much Italy stuff, so I am getting rid of it, or I did, and this sold for $18. It's some random brand, it's called Naki. Naki? Um, 
let's see. Then um, I sold these vintage white gas um, who belong to Nate, if you can see that. These are size 33, just some white shorts, and these sold for 25. And if nothing is free shipping, I don't do free shipping. Then these were mine when I was in middle school, or I think it was middle school, uh, Miss Me. But they're the Capris. So this summer when we were going through uh, having a garage sale, um, my mom like had all of my brothers and I's clothes stored since we were little. So we were going through and I saw these and I'm like, well, it's worth a shot, you know? And they ended up selling for 25 bucks. Like Capris aren't in anymore, but whoever bought these, they're in for them. Then I have this, this was a new to me brand. Um, I wasn't gonna get it because there's some stains on it and it is missing a button. You can see, if you can see that there. It is Dres Van um, there. And it's, you know, it's a little beat up, but this sold for 25 bucks and it's like one of the only things that's not um, priced up at Goodwill. So I'm making some money on it. This I got for 10 cents, I think, at a garage sale. It's a cross pen and it sold for uh, 14. So it's just this pretty little pen. People wanted to know what filter it had, all this stuff, and I was like, I have no clue. So I did have it priced at a lot more, but it wasn't selling. So when the offer came in, I took it. Next, I got this for myself a long time ago because I just had this vision that I, it would be worn as a dress. Um, didn't work out, it was way too big. It's called Policy Studio. It's a vintage brand. It's an extra large, it's a men's shirt. And I listed it and it sold in the same day for $25. All right, then um, this Jessica Simpson bikini, it's new with tags. Here. Well, the, technically the top is only new with tags, but um, so it's super cute, and this sold for twenty five. Then these Nike red sweatpants, which also took longer to sell than I expected. These sold for thirty. And last but not least, this uh, I don't remember how much I got it for. But it is a Believe Pottery Barn pillow. Um, all the other tags except the one that says Pottery Barn are cut off. And I listed for, for 100 because there was none other listed. And someone offered me 80 and I took it. So that was pretty cool. Um, those are my sales for today. Uh, I will link um, all of my socials down below. And I have a Facebook group where we uh, I find all kinds of great deals and you know it's an interactive group and you don't have to join it of course but it will be down below and everything I use for selling online is in my Amazon storefront which is also down below so I hope you have a beautiful day